Raja Nathan Mills, and with me today is. Madeha Sa. And thank you, Sa, for joining me today in this video. So, have you been busy? Yeah, very busy. Huh? A lot of work. <laughs> yeah. And are you busy working or busy studying my lessons? Which one? <laughs> A little bit. Oh, a little bit. But okay. Let me see. <laughs> Sorry, but I feel. It's okay. Yeah. Actually, she's doing a really good job. <laughs> um, so we've, we've made a couple of videos looking at the focus word. And so we're going to continue. This will be the last one of that series. And last time we looked at negative emotions, being angry. And you remember, Sa, you were smiling, laughing, uh -huh. kind of difficult for you yeah. to be angry. <laughs> so this video. I gave her some more positive emotions, uh, surprise, and so on. Uh, so it'd be easy. You can naturally smile, right? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I gave her five sentences to practice with and think about which word she wants to emphasize. So remember, the focus word is um, the, the, the loudest word in the sentence. And if you choose carefully the word, it can actually... Uh, provide more information about how you feel or what you're thinking. Uh -huh. So um, let's begin with the first sentence on our list. I'm going to say them flatly, no intonation, okay? You tell me which word uh, you want to emphasize. Now, there could be two words, All right. but not at the same time. You want to choose one and okay. say it again in a different way after okay. that. So the first sentence is, this is the best gift I've ever received. Which word do you want to go? Uh, which this, word do you want to emphasize? This is this is the this is the best gift I ever received. Okay. Emphasize best. Okay. Best. Very good. This is the best gift. And what else? What's yeah. another word you could emphasize? And uh, ever, ever, ever. Sorry. Ever. Yeah. Ever. This is the best gift I ever received. Excellent. All right, she did it already. <laughs> uh, try the one with best. Can you do that? Best mm -hmm. This is the best gift I ever received. Excellent. So why would Sa emphasize best in one sentence, one way, and then emphasize ever in the other? Do you have an idea? Why, why would you emphasize ever? Uh, ever. You mean ever or best? Ever. Ever. Ever is like uh, about myself, about my life. I never get any <laughs> gift, mm -hmm. you know, this one yeah. is... The special one is the best one ever. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, so you're looking at your life, your experience, yeah. saying this is the best ever. Best gift. Oh my god. <laughs> now, what if you emphasize best? What does that uh, mean? Best. Best. Uh, this is the best gift. It's a, maybe like a, the gift I like also. Like, I mean, maybe the. Nice, Look nice, quality, good. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. like. You like the quality, you like yeah. the color. Yeah, something like that. It's um, also best, you know? You focus on the gift. But ever, you focus on your life. Yeah. So, so you can reveal a lot about yourself, what you're thinking, how you feel, by moving the focus word. Mm -hmm. Good job. All right, let's go down to the bottom. We'll do a couple yeah. easy ones, and then finish with a couple more difficult ones. Yeah. All right, again, I'll say it flatly. The weather is really good today, which is not true. It's getting better, actually. Yeah, getting better. It's raining the earlier. Is really good today. Uh, so which word is the focus word? I'm going to emphasize uh, really and good. Yes, very good. So let's do it with good first. All right. Probably easier. The best is really good today. Excellent. Good today. Good today. It's better. The sun is out. I like out. the sun. <laughs> Yeah, the weather is really good today. Um, yeah, so it's just a very general meaning. Um, focus on good, it's sunny, breezy, not too hot. Now, what if she emphasizes really? What would it sound like? The best is really good today. Really good today. So the she really likes really it. really good today. Alright, show me your acting ability that you just the love the weather so much. The weather is really good today. Wait a second. Oh my, oh my. The weather is really good today. Well, we thought we were going to be getting wet with the rain, but it's better. It's good today. 
All right, it's good now. Uh, next one. Right. This coffee is better. This coffee is better. This coffee is better. This is a uh, emphasize better. And yes. this. Yes, yes, you can emphasize this. Which one do you want, do you want to do first? Okay, this one. Okay. This coffee is better. Okay. Now, why would you emphasize this? What does that mean? Uh, because I want to focus on the like a compare, you know, like a oh, pretend for example, coffee. for example, <laughs> maybe this coffee is better. This coffee is better. This coffee yeah. is better. Yes. So you're comparing, and you can yeah. emphasize this. All right. Go ahead and say it the other way. This coffee is better. Very good. So that would mean that maybe you made a cup of coffee, didn't taste good, didn't taste right, you made another cup. Ah, you added sugar, milk, this coffee is better. Very good. All right, the next two uh, you said were a little difficult. Right. I'm sure you can do it. Let's oh, try. Yeah. <laughs> difficult. difficult. Okay. So I'll say it uh, flatly. Of course, I'll marry you. Of course, marry you. Very good. Of course, marry you. So, which word are you emphasizing? Of course, of course. Of course. It's of like course. a definite yes. Don't worry about it. Of course, marry you. Excellent. Excellent. All right, let's go to the last sentence. It's the longest one, probably the most difficult one. I didn't know that you felt like that about. Which one would I didn't fail. I emphasize fail and uh, me. Very good. Which one do you want to do first? Okay, let's try uh, fail first. Okay. I didn't know that you felt like that about me. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. yes. And what about it's me? It's also difficult. Um, another one is uh, I didn't know that you feel like that about me. Excellent. Me. That's not hard. You do it so well. Right? I didn't know that you feel like that about me. Now, what does that mean if you stress me? Uh, what are you communicating? Me. I don't know if it's like a surprise that, like, a, I didn't know, you know, like, a, I'm surprised. I thought someone out. I don't know. Yeah, I thought you liked <laughs> that person, this person. Uh -huh. Me? Yeah. Or maybe you feel that you're not good enough, but then. Really? Me? You're happy and surprised. And the other way, what, why would you emphasize felt? What are you focusing on? Maybe about, about him. About, I mean, about the, another person. Mm -hmm. He's not forgot about me. That's right. Focusing on the other person. What about that person? Yeah. You're focusing on their, their feelings. feelings. Yeah. Excellent. That's right. So if that's, what, if that's what you want to emphasize, the feelings, you put the focus word on the word that related to it, felt. Yeah. You want to focus on yourself, then you put the focus word, make it the focus word, me. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to do it one more time? Because you did it so well. Excuse Sorry. Me. Excuse <laughs> me. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, both ways. Both, right? Yeah, just that last sentence. On me first? Mm -hmm. All right. I didn't know that you feel like that about me. Excellent. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I didn't know that you feel like that about me. Oh, all right. Good job. And felt? Um, I didn't know that you feel like that about me. Perfect. Nine Perfect. Nine <laughs> Nine Perfect. All right. So, again, uh, the focus word can communicate more than just the words. You can, you can reveal something about your thoughts, your feelings. Uh -huh. uh, by emphasizing some words mm -hmm. over other words, All right? So that's it for the focus word. I think we're done with that, but uh, we'll make another video uh, sometime soon. All right. Uh, so thank you, Sam, for thank you for joining that. me today, and I'll see you all later. Take care. Bye-bye. See you.